live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow, Knowledge17. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back, we're here to wrap Knowledge17. I'm Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick, and this is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise for you, our audience. So, Jeff, uh, fifth year at, at Knowledge, our third day. Um, why don't you start off? What's your, <laughs> what, are your, what are your takeaways? You know, it's, it's, it's it's, it's, a, it's an amazing story, right? We, I still remember the Aria, we had this little tiny set, we're up and it's kind of squeezed in next to the, to the escalator. Remember and, that? Yeah, and we had Fred on twice, I remember, <laughs> and he was such a character. You know, I think, again, it's, it's, it's about efficiency, it's about automation, it's about software-driven, it's about data-driven, right? These are all massive trends that we see all over the place, and I think what makes ServiceNow so special is they are executing them very effectively on a, on a small, uh, item where they started, the ITSM, and then they're just executing a land and expand. Um, I, so many times, how many times do we hear today where someone was looking at, looking over somebody else's shoulder at them doing some work from a different department and said, hey, what are you doing? I want that. So it's just a, such a solid way to build the business. Really nail something, just be the best. 10X better than anything else that's out there, or 10% of the cost, right? Age old formula and then demonstrate it, then execute more applications on that platform, have the benefit of being platform first when the thing was designed in the first place, which again, we've heard numerous times was such an important factor for not only building out the apps, but for people coming on board to see the really big opportunities. You always talk about what's the TAM. It's not the ITSM's TAM that they've been targeting. And they just seem to be executing. It's all, at the end of the day, and you said, Frank Slootman's an execution machine. Uh, now they're basically passing on the reins to kind of a, a new group of folks, fresh energy, fresh ideas, uh, all very seasoned veterans with lots of experience in applications, infrastructure, cloud, to see if they can take it to the next level. Yeah, we are entering the third management phase of service now. Fred Luddy is the original founder and CEO, and you know, Fred is, is, you know, we love Fred, but he is not the CEO type that you would tap to take a company to a you know, billion dollars plus. He's the guy that is the creative juices and Frank Slootman was the perfect person for that. When we talked to Frank Slootman about the decision to uh, move on, uh, it was not a function of the timing, uh, et cetera. It was really the function of the timing, or just the timing, it was a function of the timing plus the person. So they found John Donahoe and said, okay, this is the perfect person to take it from a you know, billion plus to four billion and, and beyond. Um, and so we are entering that phase. I guess the other thing is, you know, you can't look at this company and not look at the numbers. 1.4 billion in revenue, uh, on their way to 4 billion, aspirations of 10 billion plus, um, 30 plus percent revenue growth, 45 percent plus you know, free cash flow growth, 17 billion dollar market cap, and just awesome numbers. Uh, and stock price is up, investors get it, consistent execution, maybe one speed bump you know, a couple years ago, but otherwise it's been, beat, 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 and, and that is because of the predictable nature of this business. Now, there are some, watch this, there's some interesting accounting changes that might throw some people off, ways in which you account uh, revenue, uh, both positive and potentially negative for ServiceNow's income statement. Doesn't change the business a bit, but I'm looking for the street to misunderstand when it's positive and go nuts, oh my God, look what <laughs> happened, just because of an accounting change, and when it's somewhat negative from an accounting standpoint, like in Q3 when the ratable revenue is not recognized up front, or whatever the weird accounting machination are, are, that the street sort of goes down on it. But I think fundamentally, very, very sound and strong company. The second point is ecosystem leverage. It's something that you and I have been harping on for five years. It's now happened. It's you know, you know, it was cloud sherpas and fruition partners, companies that frankly nobody really had ever heard of, and now it's Accenture, Ernie Young, K KPMG. Uh, uh, DXC, IBM, Deloitte, right, uh, uh, DXC, right, EY. So these are the big players that are going to give them leverage into the boardroom, into the new lines of business. Uh, and also the ISV, listen to Tony Beller, the ISV emphasis I think is, is huge, given the fact that they've got such potential developer leverage. Um, I think the other thing is innovation. Now, this is a platform for innovation. We've said that, Fred Luddy has claimed that, everybody here has emphasized that for years and it's 
it's true. It's really you know, coming. And then the final one is the point that you've been making is the customers. When you talk to the customers, they're taking this platform and they're doing more with it. They're bringing it to new parts of the business. They're developing new applications on top of it. They're using this platform to completely transform the way they work, and that's a very powerful testament. And that it's just, it's their own, you know, Jassy talks about the flywheel. These right. guys are clearly right. on a flywheel. I think Jeffrey Hammond from, from Forrester, who we had on today, had some really good points. And, and, and like you said, everybody wants the developers. Developers, developers, developers. You know, he, he compared you know, this to like Atlassian Jira, which I worked with in a prior life, where the developers are so passionate about the, the things in which they work, the environment in which they work, they take it to their next place. They're selling it internally. Talk about, about Mr. Pink and selling. The developers are selling other developers to the tools that they like to use that, 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 that work for them. I know we're not supposed to use, use tools, I'm sorry, Pat. But, but he, <laughs> he talked about that. And they have that passion. Everyone here develops it to the top level. And the, and the other thing I thought that Jeff was really spot on is this new revolution, is this low code assembly type of, of method. Uh, and enabled by cloud, where people don't need to know what the infrastructure is. The infrastructure is slave to the app. The app is no longer slave to the infrastructure, and, and that's a problem for a lot of the legacy infrastructure firms and legacy firms that don't have that baked in. These guys have, have a relatively modern platform where they can operate in that environment. So it truly is the developers who have the, the, uh, the juice to get things done, and this is a platform in which they can be innovative and create, this is creator con, it's not developer con. Create, 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 change the world, write something cool. And I think they're really well positioned for that. So, and then the next big thing, we've talked about machine learning and AI, and again, in typical ServiceNow fashion, they find a really simple way to execute ML in a, in a, in a high value way and categorization and, and these types of things. But then the next thing that Pat talked about was the next thing is where no longer are people going to have to be forced to talk like, like machines, but now the machines will have the horsepower, bandwidth, compute, to actually start to listen to the people. So there's going to be a whole nother wave of execution uh, and growth in the way apps develop, because if you've got an Alexa, you've got a Google Home, you talk to them, and they're still really nascent. There's a long way to go. Yeah, and I think that's really helped this company a lot, that mindset of, of Fred Luddy saying, I want to create an Amazon-like experience, and, and it's really uh, played well. Uh, we've been saying for five years how much we we love this company. We still love this company. It's 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 probably my you know certainly top three of folks in the enterprise to watch. Continue to watch this these, this company. Okay, uh, so that's a wrap for us. The cube big week this week. You know, ServiceNow knowledge. Uh, uh, we are at e EMC World OpenStack Summit. All that stuff is on SiliconAngle.com and theCUBE.net. So you got to check that out. Um, it's just just tons and tons of content from, from this event and other events. Uh, check out uh, our Twitter handle, check out Cube Gems, uh, and it's just awesome, the little snippets of the interviews, and you really can get a, a sense as to some of the key trends. It's like watching the ticker tape at the bottom. A big week next week. I think we got three shows next week too. We're going to be at Veeam on. Veeam, Informatica World, and uh, we'll be covering SAP Sapphire from Palo Alto. Yeah, and then obviously, I mean, May, June are our biggest months of June. I think we've got multiple shows every week. Uh, the guys are, angle TV. There's the guys a lot are total there. Ro road warriors. When was the last time you guys were home? <laughs> we're taking care of Pat's it's been car a while. at the it's office. Definitely last month. So uh, <laughs> he's not worried about the street cleaners in San Francisco. Let's but, uh, just say that. And, and you know, again, thanks to everybody from Service Now. It just was such a, a fabulous week. Uh, you guys treat us great. Give us this nice space the best guest, and we love the fact that you got so many, so many customers to come on of high quality, CIOs, women in tech, runs the gamut, great execs, so you know, thanks to the whole ServiceNow community, you really make theCUBE feel welcome, and, uh, and we love you. Jeff, <laughs> always a pleasure working with you. Uh, great show, it's Dave. It's been awesome, so thanks very much, and thanks to the crew. All right, we're out, we'll see you next time. This is theCUBE from Knowledge17. See you next week. <laughs>